hello collective welcome back to the platform thank you for watching the ascended divination priestess channel i am sending you all lots of love joy peace and happiness many many blessings to you and your families as always i return to source i return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently i call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies okay whatever the enemy has stolen from you it is returned to you all evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled being dismantled as we speak as i have said so shall it be judgment is final let's go ahead and get into our terror reading you could have someone that's either defending you protecting you or advocating for you behind the scenes against a group that is collaborating against you to bring problems to you there's something where someone is plotting yeah i said plotting split the deck and it went right to this someone is plotting on disturbing your energy your environment let's say in about a week i would say uh, they want to cause you danger. They want to make you feel uncomfortable so that you don't feel at ease to do anything it is that you want to do, whether that's work, whether that's sleep. Yeah, they want you conflicted, stuck in your mind, but you need to know the truth and pay attention that it is all a lie. These people are coming after you because they're going through karma. So they're all plotting now. They're coming up with another plan. These people are meeting. They've been meeting quite a lot. Okay. They've been doing quite a lot of meeting. When I put my dice down, when I sat here, it's on three. The three of pentacles. These people are meeting, plotting something new. And it has to do with them wanting you to move on. So they're going to be doing anything and everything to get you to move on. Leave something behind. Uh, try to make you feel unsafe, uneasy. Like they want you living in fear, unsure of what to do. But keep on going. If you're going through a dark night of the soul or you don't know where it is you're headed, just keep going. The universe is leading you. Oftentimes when we're in the dark, we don't know what is going on. We don't know what's, where we're going, but the universe or something tells us in the back of our mind to keep going. So you need to keep going because, honey, guess what's about to happen? You're about to come out of the dark right into abundance, acceleration, growth. It's a pentacles. It's a source. Listen, high priestess. So something you need to know, pay attention to, okay? So earlier today, I had a very strange experience. Usually when I have my downloads, they're usually telling me something that has either happened in the, happened in the past or something that's going to happen in the far future. But today was a little different. I had a, a premonition. It's a, I was laying there and I saw a woman opening her car door to get into her car. This was a black woman, a kind of sturdy in a uh, structure. Um, she gets into her car and then, you know, within like a couple of hours, not even like I hear someone buzzing the front door of our apartment because we live in a lockdown unit. Um, so in order to get into the building, you either need to have a key or you have to buzz, like you have to call, press the button to the unit that you want to, or that you're here to see. And I'm like, I'm not expecting anyone. So I don't know what the heck they're there for but i never really looked to see who it was but i just found it weird that i had that premonition of someone getting in their car and then someone showing up to our building and ringing my buzzer as if i'm just gonna let you in and like oh hey mary oh oh uh, hey jean i didn't know you were coming over i don't know nobody honey it's just me my kids and i it's just me myself and i i don't be fooling with people like that because honey a lot of the people from the past, they, 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 I be knowing a little bit too much. I don't fool with none of y'all. Leave me be. Anyways, and then I had another, Lord, it's been coming down. I had another uh, premonition today. There's a Caucasian couple out here. The man does not want to be in a relationship with this woman. Like, he feels very lost and alone in this relationship. Like, he doesn't want to be bothered with this woman. But there's a woman out here that's set on painting some type of picture that she and a man are happy together something of that nature it's um like i saw them on like a vacation but it seemed like the man was forced to go on the vacation uh i saw a man that has like a beachy look you know like the beachy fret boys caucasian boys 
his hair. Now, I don't know why I saw this, but the, the hair had like spiky blonde highlights to them or something like that. I probably just, maybe it, it was my mind playing tricks on me. You know, my mind's playing tricks on me. Anyways, so I don't know if that's what it was, but he had like a beachy look to him, kind of a chill vibe, relaxed vibe. And then the woman just seemed like a stick in the mud. Like she's, she has some type of intention. Like, you know how, how those celebrities do when they want you to see them? <laughs> when they want us to see them, you know how they have that thirst for fame, for attention. It seemed like it was staged, like there was a secret secret camera or something that was taking pictures and she wanted me to see what it is that was going on. I don't even know these folks, what the heck is going on. But it's like, it's almost like she was trying to tell him how to hold Laura Kent. <laughs> Kent. <laughs> I cannot... It's almost as though she was telling this man how to hold her from the back, make it seem genuine, relax, and all of that. I was like, what the heck is going on here? Like, this is what we got to do now to get a big girl. I'm glad God built some of us cute, so we don't got to do none of that. We just got to smile and twinkle our eyes and say, how you doing, ma'am? How you doing, sir? How you doing? <laughs> Oh, Lord, I said, I don't know these people. Why Why is she wanting me to see this nonsense? Girl, you're giving up desperate right now. You got to chill. It's like a queen of cups in reverse or a queen of wands or something. But these people, they're people, they're having a hard time tempering with your strength. Someone says she's too strong. He's too strong. Whatever it is you're saying. Um, but they're all still meeting on how it is. They can cause you some type of stalemate and block your new beginning. These people are going through a lot of conflict behind the scenes because there was something they were planning to have happen to you, but there is some type of glitch in the matrix that's taking place like in their plan. The truth is out. Uh, there's a group that's looking into things. This may be a community that's looking deeper into something. Or there may be a group of people that want to apologize. Also, there is a king of swords that's very sick in bed. But this man, I don't feel sorry for him. Because this is someone that's in a lot of pain. But they're still directing someone else on how to cause blockages for a light worker. So it says someone is in basically their deathbed. But they're, they're telling someone else. Like they're giving orders. Kind of imagine like you being in some type of chronic pain. Where it's just like the pain is on 10, but you still are more focused on blocking someone else's forward movement. And I don't know if it's because this man is binded to something or someone just has a lot of hate in their heart for another person that probably doesn't even know them or never did anything to them. But there's a man that's in a lot of pain, very sick. I don't, I heard farewell. So someone probably wouldn't, won't be uh, recovering. I've heard farewell for a lot. I've, I've been hearing the word farewell farewell a lot okay so someone is absolutely passing away but i don't have remorse for people like these because this is someone that again is very sick in a lot of pain but he's out here giving orders to a third party to block someone's life someone's options someone's offer someone's abundance finances all kinds of stuff and it's just that why are you this hateful why are you this malicious did you never ever think to sit for a second and say what's wrong with me why am i doing this Someone said, no, he doesn't like self-actualizing. He, As soon as I said, why am I doing this? He said, nope, that's what I heard. No, I don't give a F. That's what he said. So someone does not give a F. Don't worry, honey. You're going to give a F in a little bit. Anyways, but I, I, I see uh, or hear a man giving someone, like they're not in the same environment, obviously. It's that one is sitting in like a building and the other one is at home in bed. And I don't know what this building is. I see a lot of cheers and stuff like that. Or there's like a man sitting at a desk at work and he's taking orders from another person in his sick bed, telling him, do this this way, do this that way. Or it could also be something they're doing at nighttime, where it's that both of them are home, but they live, of course, in two different, two different communities. Uh, so he has someone up late at night doing something that they shouldn't be doing. But it said, if you are this sick and passing away, you're literally dying. Why are you this focused on blocking someone else's life? Like, are you this bitter? Come on now, people. We got to do better than this out here. Like, you, At this time of your life, this stage of your life, you should be trying to recover or you should be trying to ask for forgiveness from the universe or all the wicked things you've done in life. Also, what I'm hearing is that this man, the sick person... That's giving orders on how to block someone. 
This is someone that had another person that he hired initially to do this, but that person quit. They said they didn't want to be a part of it anymore. So what he did was then slender that man um, and tried to make it seem like that man uh, wasn't doing what he was supposed to do. He was, you know, lazy or something like that or something was going on with him, okay? No, that's not what it was. It's the fact that the king of swords that is sick and farewelling was telling him to do things that he didn't even want to do. Now that that other man is gone, he quit or something like that, he decided to move on. It's like someone seeing a situation for what it is and they decide to wash their hands off of it. They say, yeah, I don't want to be part of this anymore. I'm going to, you know, stick to my family, go on, move on with my life or whatever it is. It could also be like whoever he hired initially to do something to you saw that you were someone very genuine. You're, you're very kind hearted, very like innocent. You have like an innocent energy to you. Uh, and it's like no matter what he was doing, you were still content in life. And he also knows that you have foresight of everything they were doing behind the scenes. But you just didn't say anything because you know the universe was taking care of it and it's still taking care of it. So he decided to kind of just back up. He said, no, nah, I don't want to be part of this. Something may have happened in their life as well as as far as karma playing out and when it happened to him he decided to just back off and let go he said he was moving on don't want to be part of this conflict anymore things are not going the way that they said it would it's too many backfires something like that i can't do this anymore i'm done something like that so then he hires someone new to replace that gentleman that left and now the new person i don't know if you know what's about to happen to you you may there's a reason why your predecessor left that position. <laughs> There's a reason. There's a reason why your predecessor left that position. Your predecessor could have been like a higher fan. Maybe you're a religious person. There's a reason why he left that position. You may want to reconsider that position that you accepted. But I just see someone that's in a whole lot of pain, but they're still focused on being hateful. Being malicious, being wicked. You're a weak uh, guy. I'm telling you other guys, honest truth. Someone is being exposed. This is what they don't want finding out. Someone's telling someone wait, wait at night when they're sleeping. They should be asleep. Like someone has like a recorder in someone's home. So if you're like the light worker, you may not know. Someone has like a secret recorder in your home where they can hear whatever it is you're seeing. Maybe like 5,000 miles, 10,000 miles, whatever this is away. And they are telling people exactly what is going on in your life. Someone binded themselves to some type of contract. They co collaborated with a group of people on how to block the truth, temper with your energy, block your innovation, your creativity, your down, just block you all together because there's something about your mind, your abilities, your skills and things like that, or just who you are that these people are very intimidated by. Okay, there's something also where another, I don't know if this is a one group or these are sectors of different, like sectors of a group or different groups just coming after one person. But there's another person that's in a collaboration against you that told people like taking something from you was going to be as easy as taking candy or stealing candy from a baby, something like that. That is because they see you in this page of cups energy, meaning like you're naive is what they say. The Page of Cups is not a naive person. The Page of Cups is just someone that's healed. They're in touch with their inner child. They have a direct connection with Source. There's somebody spiritually gifted. They're just a little bit eccentric and things like that. Very spiritual. But oftentimes people mistaking the Page of Cups to be people that are naive. And the reason why is because a lot of the times you'll be doing something to the Page of Cups. They'll know what you're doing 99% of the time, but they won't say anything to you about it. And that is the problem people don't realize. It's like, you see how this is here? These people are in front of this Page of Cups. That means this Page of Cups is aware of who's collaborating, what they're saying, what they're doing, what they're plotting, and all of that. Um, so they are aware, but they'll never say anything until it's the right time to give truth and clarity to a situation so really in reality you're the dumb one because you're the one that think, thinks that you're doing something underhanded that someone does not see but the whole time they see you and everybody else that's involved okay like the whole family they know everything you said and did all the actions and things like that i said there was a king of source is going to plan something right someone is planning on uh, causing you some type of tower so that you can move on and let go of your investment so whatever you've been investing in they want you to let go of that 
Um, but the universe wants you to know that everything is going to be okay. They are protecting you. This, this is like a, I don't know if this is like a king of source that's in the reverse obviously or this is like a false police officer some but i just know there's a king of source behind maybe this could be the one that's sick but i know there's a king of source that is sick and it's about to be passing away i keep hearing farewell so maybe they need to start prepping his funeral arrangements and yeah honey it ain't looking good for you anyways there's some type of truth being exposed about an institution and what they did to one person. This is a group that collaborated to outcast someone. Okay, so they could have helped you, but they all decided to come together and do something to you. Okay, they've been trying to cause difficulties and things like that to block your voice, block your 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 presence. I don't know in however way it could be at your nine to five, maybe on social media, your business and things like that. But there is a institution that has been collaborating and they've been trying to hide what it is that they're doing. It's almost also that there's like a masculine or a feminine behind the scenes telling people that, oh, this is just an illusion. We're just playing mind games with them. It's not mind games. What they're doing is that they're tempering with someone's livelihood stability foundations and then they're telling people they're just pretending to do things and they said look all, all i did was pretend to do this and he's already upset or losing his mind or he's frustrated he's stuck in his mind look all i just all i did was pretend to no they're not pretending they're actually doing illegal things behind the scenes invading people's privacy stealing money uh blocking things and, th and blocking like resources connections and things like that right they are actually doing things. This is not a pretend thing. This is something real and there's law enforcement involved. And I'm not talking about that crooked one that is about to pass away out here thinking that he's in control or something. No, there is some type of investigation going on that people are not aware of. With this three of pentacles out here followed by the page of cups, there are questions being asked. Okay, something is being looked into for clarity. And it's out here about an institution and what people have been doing, a whole institution, okay? Collaboration, all kinds of things. There could be something that was doing very well and then all of a sudden it went to, it, it plummeted. And this is leading to an investigation as well. It said, well, yeah, I'm telling you. It said, what the heck just happened? This is not what it was before. But the truth is being exposed and this is what people don't want coming out. It's like, let's say you have like a platform creator, a content creator, excuse me, that maybe they do, let's say they do tarot like myself, because you know, I always have to use social media since I'm a social media content creator. Lord have mercy. I can't believe this is my life now. Okay. Anyways, let's say like I'm on here and I'm speaking the truth. Um, and someone does not like it, it bothers them. I don't know them, or maybe I'm not aware of them. They take it personal because they've been doing things behind the scenes, right? To temper with either my work or something, but I'm not talking about them because when you're doing terror, there shouldn't be any type of personal uh, attachment to it. You're supposed to just give your messages. So they may think that I'm talking about them or maybe this institution or this group did something to you already and they thought you didn't know about it or maybe you didn't know and, the, and it's just coming out in the messages. I don't know what it is, but they're taking it personal that you are trying to expose them. So they are trying, they are doing things to block you, to get you to walk away from what it is that you are doing because they think you are attacking them because they think you're, you're speaking negativity into the universe on them but you don't know these people you're not aware of them the whole time there's something like that that's going on and then on the other end you have a woman that's in competition uh and that's what i got out of there because i don't know who these people are but the fact that she wanted me to see because that's the that's the energy i got from it it said she wanted me to see that hey we're still together we're ha we are happy you know when you got to prove that you're happy baby that's a lie <laughs> yeah, that's a lie i'm telling you it's a lie <laughs> you about to start back at one he said nah i don't want to he's thinking about it he's like nah i can't do this anymore linda i am moving on linda is out here birding and say what am i gonna do now my pentacles my pentacles my pentacles girl the pentacles are over 
you are going to have to manifest a new beginning, but you're going to have to work on your mindset and come up with some type of idea on how you can move on. Okay. Um, but there's something where they're plotting on also ending a queen of pentacles. They don't want you having a new beginning, honey. You're going to have that new beginning. You're going to be growing and prosperous. You're going to be receiving some type of communication, uh, from, a person in a community or someone behind the scenes, like a secret admirer or something, they may end up expressing the fact that they want to work with you or they have a lot of emotions for you, something like that, because they know the truth about what has been happening behind the scenes. Be uh, cautious as well. I think whoever I saw in the vision with that woman at the beach is like a king of cups, something of that nature. Um, or it could be a king of king of pentacles in his king of cups energy i don't know what honey i was confused i was listening i was confused i said who are these people do i know you i think i've seen the man in a dream before um there was some i've seen him in a dream before um and in this dream he was I, my kids and i we appear at like a, a a mansion like this very big house right and outside of the house there's the a pool Right. And he's there and he's telling me about how he's a pool boy and he really likes uh, his job. Right. It's, in, it's important to be passionate about the things you want in life or the things you you do in life. And I said, oh, yeah, that's true. But I just remember in the dream, I'm like, why is he talking to me about being passionate about, you know, I mean, how, how passionate can you be about being a pool boy or something like that? You know me. I, yeah. Listen, I've been coming to my platform long enough to know my mouth is lethal. My mouth is disrespectful. But hey, honey. It ain't no ill intent behind it. We're we just going to say what we got to say around here and, and, and let it be. But I just remember thinking, I'm like, why is he talking to me about being passionate about a pool boy, about being a pool boy? Sir, I know you don't want to be no pool boy, and I don't think you're a pool boy. I think you're a bigger person in this mansion here, and you're pretending to be humble. You ain't humble. Um. So anyways, and I've, I remember after I had that dream, there was a sense of some type of bigotry to it. So I don't know if he was going... Th and it seems like, excuse me, I know I'm all over the place with this. It seems like my reads, everything I've been doing, like predicting, is coming into fruition because I remember I had that dream and then now I'm seeing him again. He didn't seem happy in the first dream. It seemed like he was trying to get a few of my energy, trying to get me to see him in like a more humble light. But I got a sense of bigotry from the whole environment that I was at. It's like nothing was really flourishing nothing was thriving it's like the person that they had in charge of i don't know if it was a house a, a mansion a, a business or something they didn't really know what they were doing they were pretending to be something they weren't so things were not really flourishing like they were supposed to um and i remember we had my children and i had went up a hall and we were trying to go into the building to see what was going on just to kind of explore it just seemed that we were out of place because it was all you know kind of people around, you know, and we were the only people around and we were like, let's stick together. So we go into this hall and while we're walking up the hall, a bunch of water starts like pouring into the hall. Um, and we say like, let's turn around, go back. But when we turned around to go back, the door was locked. So it was like a trap that they had set or something to trap us in there. It just so happened that we turned around, went back up, and there was another door to open so my kids and I could come out. Um, and it, it was just a weird energy. We ended up back at the pool after we walked through that door. And in order to exit that environment, because there was something very toxic and karmic, it was just a heavy energy. We jumped in the pool to exit that, whatever that was going, that situation. We said, you know what, it's time to, I said, it's time to get up out of here. I remember I was wearing like a a uh, plain white dress and I held my last baby in my arm and we just jumped in the pool all of us together and we left them standing left him standing there but it was just weird because I remember in the dream there was this blonde head hair woman girl like, like someone very immature like just following us all over stalking us and I'm like why is this woman following us honey ain't nothing in this place to take it's misery everything here is miserable what, what the heck are you doing and then, listen, I kid you not, I think, well, like, not even a week or two after I had that dream, there's a woman I find that was stalking us, and it was the woman from my dream, stalking us at Walgreens. Is that Walgreens or CVS? It's Walgreens. 
stalking us at Walgreens by trying to play it off wearing the exact same outfit from the dream. I've never met this woman before, but the only reason I recognized her was because of her outfit and her hair, her face, because I saw her in the dream following us around. And I remember I saw her and I looked at her. I'm like, mm, did I know you? And she tried to like dip into the uh, aisle kind of calmly to act like she didn't know what was going on. I said, girl, you tried it. You know very well. We know what's going on here. Um, so I'm guessing this is them I saw in the vision today. Like she's trying to, maybe there's something going on in the background of me that I'm not aware of. Is there, listen, is there a, a vanilla brother out there that's into chocolate women all of a sudden? Sir, how you doing? How you doing? I ain't never been into vanilla, but you know what? How you doing? How you doing? If that is, because since she wants me to see, since she wants me to see, see, girl. How you doing, sir? How you doing? <laughs> You must be from an affluent family, and you must be someone very gifted. I don't know what it is, but okay, sir. I ain't never, I ain't never done that before now, but listen, I don't be into people's partners, nothing. You all stay in your married folks' business over there and leave me out of it. I don't want to see none of what you got going on. Congratulations if you just got married. If you're trying to work on your relationships and stuff like that, congratulations. I hope you two are successful, okay? But don't, don't stay out of my stay out of my dreams now, cause y'all know I be seeing everything. I could end up a little bit too. I may slip up and see some things now. I don't like people in my dreams now. In my eyes, my vision. Uh -huh. Too much comics. Too much toxicity. Too much. Too much. Too much. So collective, please be aware. Listen, then I say King of Cups. There go the King of Cups. <laughs> Heartbroken about the work he invested in. This I don't think it's the one from my dream though. It's a different guy. I've never met that man before that I saw in my dream. I never met him in the physical realm, but I've met him in the dream state. And I just remember I was talking to him. So then also, I remember I was doing a reading where I said there may be uh, a man that used to be racist, uh, but now he's kind of changing and he, you know, he don't go on from calling us the, those color folks to the chocolate folks. He said, a, a brother is slowly progressing <laughs> to the right side of the track. He's still dealing with a lot of uh, childhood wounds and whatever they call it. I don't even think it's childhood wounds. I mean, I think more so it's like being in a specific type of environment. And I think that's what these two are dealing with. There's something about this Queen of Wands and this King of Cups. This is not someone that's passionate about anything she does in life. This is someone that just, it's all about the Benjamins for her. The relationships she gets in, many, many of them. Um, the career she's working, there's nothing about passion for her. It's all about money, prestige, how things look. It's, that's all it's about is how it looks to the world. Okay. That's all it is. Someone's very karmic and toxic as can be. And Lord have mercy. And they're plotting your demise. They said, we got to Yeah. They're trying to take some, uh, baby, it must be me. Cause I don't listen. This, this has to have something to do with me. And I don't even know these people. Like, I've seen this woman in my dream. Once, Vision, once. Her stalking me at Walgreens, once. Apart from that, that girl, I, don't, I didn't even talk to her. That's how I, I don't even know you. Him, I've never met. When I tell you all, I, my, my phone is silent. Like, I don't have friends or nothing like that. It just be me and my kids. I work from home, mind my business, because it's easy as ABC. So I don't even know who these people are. But I feel like this may have something to do with me, and I'm just being honest. I don't want to be sitting here being oblivious to what's going on. I think whatever this couple, whatever they're going through may have something to do with me. It may have something to do with work. Maybe, I don't know what this is, honey. I don't want to be part of none of that. Maybe they're watching me on social media and they feel like something is about them. Maybe they created some type of ten of pentacles off of my work or something. I don't know, but I'm going to need y'all to leave me alone. Leave me alone, Linda, Linda, Linda. Linda, I said leave me alone. My ancestors said they agree. You need to find other options, okay, to balance your life out, balance your toxicity out, and, and move on, okay? I don't know what the heck this is. 
I don't know what this is. But let's go ahead and get into it, though. Listen. Yeah, whatever you are going through is over. It's over now. Hmm. You felt that you could make it. It was a lie. Now it's over now. Dang. Baby, they're plotting. Are you guys plotting on taking out a queen of pentacles? So, listen, you know what? I'm going to do this today. Are you guys plotting on taking more out? Like, I see a collaboration here against a queen of pentacles. King of Corps plotting to take out a queen of pentacles. Now, who is this king? I mean, queen of pentacles you are trying to take out? Surely not I, because I don't be bothering nobody. He said, we're going to take her out so that she don't move on. Don't meet with no, yeah, don't move on. Don't meet with nobody. We want her trapped, blah, 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 blah. The universe says it's a no. It's a no. Something's going to backfire horribly and it's going to dismantle a whole community. I keep hearing someone saying who's telling her stuff. Don't nobody t t talk to me, ma'am. That has come out in a reading before, and I thought this whole time it had to do with other people. Your offer is rejected. You are stuck where you are while someone is going to be growing, moving on, and having a new beginning in love, in life, in just everything. Someone is very protected. This is their in their energy, and this, someone could be like an ascendant master. I don't know if it's me, baby. How you doing, Glenda? How you doing? I pray this don't got nothing to do with me because I don't fool around with people. I mind my business. You see me right here, honey? I be minding my business. You see, it ain't no friends. Just those sentient beings above me. Those are my friends. I don't, be, I don't fool with people now. I'm content in life. Okay? Leave me be now, Linda. Leave me be. Leave me be. You must be like a, I said, cele, I was going to say celebrity and this car came out. You must be a celebrity in the public eye and you do something for show. So that means something you are doing is not genuine. I don't know why celebrities be doing stuff like this. And I've been picking up on your energy for a long time. And this whole time I've been in denial that you could be stalking me. There's a woman in Nia out here, Anaya out here. That does too much. Very insecure. She's like a petite, blonde, white girl. Oh, Lord, I said white. Let me say a black girl, too, so they don't think I'm racist. <clears throat> There's a petite, blonde, white girl that just does a little bit too much out here. I remember... Oh! Third time. Listen, my memory is coming back. Look at that. Look at me. This is a woman in the public eye, people. There's a... Blonde, petite, white girl out here that does a little bit too much. Too much for attention. Like someone is very desperate and eager for people to see her. It said, look at me. Look at me. I am Nia. I am not. Girl, I heard your name in a dream. And that's because this man was upset with you for something you did. I just remember your name because he said, not Nia, Nia. Nia, what are you doing? He was pissed off. Girl, what you doing? You're going to have to stay up out of our dreams and our visions. You press pressed out here. You a whole celebrity out here pressed about an irrelevant sister. Just on social media. You don't went and got involved with a crooked cop. Misusing your connections. Baby, this came out sideways. Oh, yeah. Your whole group of people, they ain't receiving any type of good news. This... Baby, y'all was celebrating over in Dodging. It's a queen. Oh, this ain't mean. Thank goodness. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You all were over in Dodging in something and it's backfiring. It's a queen of pentacles here. Girl, I don't told you to let go of something. Oh, well, that took a turn, folks. That, it, uh -huh. thank goodness. Now, ah, uh, oh, girl, I thought that was me. I don't be doing, I don't mess with folks out here now. Leave me alone. But I remember he was yelling in the dream. He said, Nia, I think it's Nia or Naya, whatever it is. What are you doing? She wanted someone to see her with a man. This seems to be the constant theme for this woman. She wants people to see who she's with. She wants people to know who she's with. She got money. She, girl, you're barely making it. You out here with $4 in your bank account just like myself. It's a whole lot of money on the line, though, because you don't made a whole lot of promises to people, invested a lot into something to force things to go your way. It ain't going your way. Okay? It's not. 
Ooh, yeah, this this is going to be a long reading, but we're just going to do it. Uh-huh. It's clarity about all the confusion. Okay? It's clarity now about all the lies, the difficulty, the complications. Everybody's been causing. You see how these people went from celebrating to being stuck? It's something being exposed. There's someone in the public eye that's been doing some unhinded, underhanded move to block other people's new beginning. And I don't think it's... It's, I don't think it's just one person. I think it's a whole lot of people that this woman has been doing this to because she's been stealing from a whole lot of power. She's been stealing from a whole lot of people and she does not want the truth out. She does not want people to know. Okay. This came out sideways. So that means this is someone that is on skill. Someone that's not doing their work, doing their work. Someone is not studying. They're not learning what they're supposed to. Someone is just vain and into the luxurious lifestyle. Uh, someone likes like character. Someone does not invest in the things like that. This is a whole institution that has been led astray by one person. You see how crazy life is when you don't have a mind of your own. You'll follow a dum dum around. Simply because of what? How they present themselves. You don't even look into things. You need to investigate something. You need to look in deeper into something. Because there's a woman leading you all to the slaughterhouse based off of lies. This woman was out here saying someone stole from her or some uh, people were stealing her work. How can uh, hundreds of people be stealing your work? They probably don't even know who you are. You seem to be more aware. You see how you're looking at these people right here? You are more aware of what it is they're doing. All of them have their attention somewhere else. These two are looking up at him and he's looking at them. They're not paying you any mind, which means they're not aware of you. They don't know you, ma'am. Karen, they don't know you. So you have been watching people and stealing from them, but saying that they're stealing from you. And then because you've gotten this institution to believe what you were saying, they all thought that they were doing the, the just thing by helping you take people down and people. You're going through some type of karma, but you're still trying to end someone else. You're trying to take out a queen of pentacles. You say you don't want her having family. You don't want her rejoicing. You don't want her having victory. You don't want her being happy. You're trying to cause this woman a tower and you're about to go through a tower yourself. You're trying to steal from someone. That is so sad and pathetic to be this way. You like, you, you like morals. There's something about your, your, like your heart space is void. It's empty. There's something about you. Yeah, honey. Listen, ancestors, don't, don't be don't be starting with me today. Don't be starting with me today. Listen, they said that's a yes. Like, she her, her heart space is void. It's void as heck. A sister is out here on skill, unwilling to put in the work. But it's out here saying, this is the God's honest truth. Nia is under judgment. The community is under judgment. Out here forcing people to go on vacation with her. God dang. <laughs> Say, you're going to go on vacation with me. I need them to believe that we're still together. Is it possible that your husband has like a crush on someone? And they're not even aware of your husband? I think something started off real childish and silly. Now it has gotten really big. Like maybe you two started this together. Yeah, you two were working together before. But there is some type of split between the two of you. And something is not something like it was before. You two are collaborating. You and your mother were collaborating as well. It's a whole family affair. God dang. Tyler Perry, you need to take the wheel. Take the wheel. It's a family affair. Damn. Someone may want to apologize to you, collective. Yeah. Oh, dang. Yeah, there's a separation going on. Some type of divorce is going on. This woman is under investigation. The truth is out. She's been trying to hide the truth for a long time. Please bear with me in this terror reading because, baby, this is just too much going on. Something has been going on for a little bit too long. There's a woman that has been pretending to be of high character, but she's not. This is someone that's low down. Don't care what it is she does, who she steps on to get to where she is. There's another dream I had. I'll do a reading on that one in my second video. 
But this woman does not care who she steps on. All she cares about is money. money. Yeah, all she cares about is money. And she don't mind what she got to do to get that. I'm telling you, to get that money. She don't care if she got to weigh people down. Destroy lives. Destroy energies. All kind. Someone is not even innovative. Not creative. Not a thinker. Nothing. Listen. Dang. Yeah. Dang. She said, ain't nobody coming together on her watch. Nia said, this relationship is not coming together. It is over. over as far as ma'am, Miss Karen, Miss Linda, Melissa, Nia, Naya, whoever you are. She said, it ain't, it ain't happening. She said, I'll be darned. You're going to keep your distance from that earth angel. And I'm going to keep pretending to be an earth angel. Baby, we don't know who you are. Girl, tower. They're plotting a tower. Trying to end someone's abundance, options in love, everything. She said, listen, she cannot be seen. He cannot be seen on the world stage. Social media, we got to block them, okay? Because if people see him or people see her, they're going to know that I'm fake. Girl, everybody know you're fake. This whole community, again, they know. <laughs> they know. Your whole community, they know, girl. They know. I don't know why they don't want to tell you. Maybe you're the boss or something in some type of situation. So they just keep their mouth shut and do what it is you tell them to do. You and your fake power. Girl, they know. They know. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. They know. They know you be plotting and scheming on how to steal from people. Wake this king of <laughs> swords. Dang. I hope you're plotting on take. There may be some type of plot against a king of swords. This will be the one in the upright. Not the one that is uh, sick. And farewelling. What in the world is this madness? This, 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 this is just all over the place. Just all over the place. Damn. It's a whole group of people that have been plotting together, working together. Now they're being looked into. Something ain't something ain't no more. It's not funny, ain't funny anymore, is it? They are cut up. Yeah, it, it's over. It's a whole family. There's arguing, fighting, cursing, ink, disarray, all kinds of stuff. I don't know what the heck this is you all got yourselves into, but leave us out of it. We just be out here minding our business. Some type of truth was exposed that caused a stalemate. Some type of blockage or just some type of pause in something and it's bringing it to an end. Something was said, some type of truth or clarity or some type of divine intervention took place and it caused some type of stalemate. It said, this ain't going no farther. You ain't manifesting nothing else for someone else's life. You're not paying anyone else. This is the end for you. The universe is protecting whoever it is you're coming after. Lord have mercy. I hope it ain't me because I don't, I don't be fooling with people. I, I pray. I, don't, I, I, I promise I don't be fooling with people. Yeah, I just be minding my business. I work, take care of my kids, my my business, say my ABCs, my one, two, threes, because, baby, <laughs> I've heard someone in, my, someone in one of my downloads before call me illiterate. <laughs> She's incompetent. I said, you're bullshit. <laughs> Me fooled up. I am not incompetent. I'm working on my masters. What are you talking about? I'm just patient. I let things play out. I let things play out. Very patient, calm, humble, very modest, but incompetent. Nah, 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 nah. I'm just. I sure heard someone call me incompetent before. I said, she's, she's dumb. She's, she's stupid. She's retarded. I said, oh, okay. <laughs> you, you sure about that? <laughs> you sure about that? Listen, I just be minding my business because I be knowing what it is people are doing. But he said, well, I said, what? Mm, it'll, it'll, it'll work itself out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> be plotting and everything, trying to interfere with justice. And the whole time I have clarity. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to let you feel this one. You're going to fear me. <laughs> you fear me. 
You see, what's that? What's that? What's that? Foresight of betrayal. Okay, yeah, we be known. We like workers be known, baby. We be known. You just said, we don't want them in the public eye. We need to bring an end to all of this. Okay, we've worked too hard to have this thing affected us. If they are seen, these light workers, these high priestesses, if they are seen, we'll never have our money because that's all it's about is the money. Isn't that true? Justice is playing our darlings. Out here trying to steal, destroy. Right. Justice is out. Everything that you all try to manifest is happening to you. Let me quit playing around because I don't got time today, tomorrow, or any other day. Any other day, I don't got no time for the madness. What in the world is this? Let me hurry up and do my recap and get up out of this energy. Listen, I told you all, you're going to have to keep that to yourself. The four of pentacles, I don't know what someone is rushing in to come and give to someone. They don't want it. They don't want it. I promise they don't want it. They said, no, yeah, they don't want it. They don't want it. <laughs> you want to balance something out. <laughs> Trying to temper with someone's six of pentacles. They said, we don't want you giving to him. We don't want you giving to her. Okay? We said that they were, you know, unworthy. They don't have nothing to offer to the world. The justice system is aware of something that's going on, by the way. You all have been doing something for so long that you got yourselves caught up in something illegal. The justice system is aware. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Someone was determined to block people's work. They didn't just do this to one person. They did this to multiple people. You got court issues coming in, darling. I know you've been... There's something going on, too, about a child. There's some type of or court case going on about a child there's a woman that neglects her kids to stalk people online girl you got to be out your raggedy mind you're gonna leave your kid unattended so you can go watch videos what, what you talking about willis what you talking about i remember i had a dream too there's a woman neglecting her kid to stalk other people someone ain't even washing their behinds like they're supposed to like if she gets in the shower or the tub it's at one two three she's out because she don't want to miss a video god dang girl you gotta feed the babies you gotta take care of the babies love on the babies what's wrong with you what, what's wrong with you girl what's wrong with you social media is not that important uh-uh 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 dang so you're about to go meet with your lover the, the you know what? <laughs> There's another King of Cups in the scenario that she's going to so they can take someone out. They're going to plot on someone and take them out. Uh, plot, plan to take someone out. It's like as soon as someone is supposed to reap their harvest, like they're supposed to receive something, they get in there and cause a stalemate. They said, no, you can't receive any financial payouts. But the universe is protecting someone. They say they want you to know everything that's yours is being protected. It's secure. You'll receive it. Oh, you'll receive it. What she don't know, Laura, I'm not going to, sir, you know what, Mr. King of Class, I'm going to leave that out. I'm going to leave that out. Someone don't know she's playing with hot water out here. Oh, she don't jump out the hot pot and she's about to jump into the fire. There's something you don't know that's coming for you. And it's going to be from someone. Listen, I mean, let me leave that. I'm going to leave that out, sir. I ain't going to leave that out because I see you on your move. <laughs> Ooh, it's going to be good, good. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to leave this here. Something will be balanced out. Yeah, I said balance out. That six of pentacles came out again. They're trying to steal somebody's six of pentacles, but you ain't getting that offer. And whatever this institution is, you whoo, don't want from the five of pentacles, page of pentacles in the reverse to the four of pentacles. Whoo, baby. Let me get out of this energy. Still collaborating, still plotting, still wanting the force of victory that ain't coming. Yeah, the family, you're not receiving what it is that you think you are. You're not getting it. It's what I keep being told to tell you. It's because of the way you do things. Everything is being exposed about you all. You're not getting it. You ain't getting it. You ain't getting it. 
You ain't getting it. You ain't getting it. Oh, dang. There's something where they may even be plan planning like a court case or something, trying to plot a court case or set up a court case to interfere with your energy to endanger you or something like that and you're still going to be too strong for these people you're showing up as the magician so you're going to see right through what it is they're doing it's going to have them weigh down you're still going to keep pushing forward you're still going to be disciplined as heck like you are and it's going to cause a hindrance to these people that's the thing they're trying to do is dismantle your strength they don't want you being strong they don't want you having foresight of what it is that is going on they also don't want you having the upper hand because there's a situation where you have the upper hand and they are at your mercy so they're trying to do something to deter that advantage that you have over them so they may try to even temper with your downloads your wherever if you're a high priestess because this woman has been stealing from high priestesses so they're trying to destroy your mind want you in a chaotic energy but it's not gonna work you are a magician so you already know what it is you know you know what it is you know what i mean right you already know what it is anyways so yeah they're plotting i mean they're plotting on a lot in your life they're plotting on your 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 strength your energy your resources if something was left for you they're trying to take that if something is supposed to be given to you they're trying to block that so it can go to them it didn't go into them says the universe yeah, because people are seeing the truth about you. You're about to be out here. Uh, dun, 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 You're about to be out here married or just in a happy community work area. Girl, about to be moving on up. Sir, you about to be moving on up. You're moving on up. Hey, to the east side. In the deluxe apartment in the sky. <laughs> yeah, your haters might be there looking up the the, the, the building. I'm talking about, she's up there. He's up there. You think I can go and say hello? It's like, and then the other one, girl, if you go up there, they're going to arrest you. You can't be in those rich folks' neighborhood like that, in their building like that. Yeah, you got conflict. You got problems. You don't belong. <laughs> See that right there? Looking up, that's going to be your haters. Looking up, trying to figure out if they can get in. You know what Chris Brown said. How you going to hate when you can't even get in to the club? <laughs> How you going to hate from the outside? You can't even get in. Yeah, it could be a tower. You can't get in, honey. Something is being dismantled by the universe. They are trying to, to destroy your strength, your energy, your dreams, your, your your mind, your downloads, anything that has to do with who you are, they want to destroy it, but they want to have it. You see how hypocritical things be, people be? Let's leave that there. How you do that there? That's what they want to know. Hey, how you do that there? Karen has been having to pretend to be, but she ain't. So how you do that there? That's how she wants. That's what she wants to know. And anywhere you move, family, community is the end of the road. Poverty is the road that lies ahead for everybody involved. Ain't no sorries, ain't nothing. We don't want no sorries. Universe that collector, keep moving forward. Something will be balanced out for you. You should pay attention to your intuition. You already know the truth about the conflict people are causing for you or going through behind the scenes things they've been doing to you you know you know things for exactly what it is you will have your victory okay dang keep on investing pay attention okay you could have a king of wands you need to be cautious of trying to figure out how he can come towards you and cause an illusion don't pay him no mind someone made someone 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 avoid up you know and now he wants to come in and give you some money or some type of loyalty. We don't want that, sir. We don't want that. Sir, please, sir. We don't want that. Move on. Move on. Okay. Now to the brother with this bigotry mindset. She's like that too. Bigotry. I think he's healing, so we're going to lay it up. But how you going to be a bigot and then want to be the person you're being a bigot over? What? What? Uh, girl. 
You, even my, even Massachusetts ain't, ain't, don't, don't got slavery no more. Even Massachusetts learned how to let go, okay? Because Massachusetts is where is where slavery started, right? Yeah. So uh, baby, even they let go. They had to let go and like God handled it because God said, uh, uh-uh, uh, that ain't why I put people on this planet. So girl, how you gonna be a bigot and then be one be out here trying to be the people you're being a big? This is the this is a woman to be watching people platforms and be talking about uh I can't stand black people. Why does she talk like that? Why do they talk like that? Oh my gosh, they're so illiterate and incompetent, they don't even know how to speak proper English. Oh my gosh, she can barely talk, he can barely talk. That is not a proper sentence. The whole time a sister is a whole airhead walking about the face of the earth <laughs> trying to trying to pretend to be a star seed. <laughs> It's a girl, you gotta work hard to be one of us. What you talking about? You are not part of us. You are not one of us. You're gonna have to move on. Okay? <laughs> Ooh. Girl, make your way to Pennsylvania. Okay? You know how the slavery started in Massachusetts and then it ended in Pennsylvania? Uh huh. Uh huh. Make your way to Pennsylvania. Let go. Let go of the bigotry, the racism, the insecurities. You might be out here hitting on black content creators because you know they are the vibe that come and you don't got no vibes to you. We got that sauce. How you doing? We got that sauce. Naturally. Girl, yeah, it just be there naturally because the universe, you know, ride just be like, how you doing? More sauce today. And then Karen is on the sideline like, what about me? I want sauce too. I can take the sauce. I know how to do the sauce. And Ra is like bombastic side eye and her like, who is this? Uh, and then Karen's like, I thought he was going to give me some of the sauce. I deserve the sauce. Girl, it's not about deserving the sauce. You got to work for the sauce. Okay, and you don't even know what I mean by work for the source. Working for the source means doing the healing work. Mm-hmm. Don't, girl, I say healing. I split my dad. You got to do the healing. Melissa. I don't even know what to call you. Naya, Nia, Melissa, Karen, Betty, Jasmine. Whatever you are. You got to do the healing work so you can come out and then rock and bless you. Or I say, Psh. Melissa has done the work to heal. Can't be out here pretending to be in the upright, Melissa. Just in here living in fear of being exposed and people knowing the truth. Girl, they know the truth. They know the truth. They know the truth about your secrets. They ain't keeping your secrets like Alicia Keys and Usher. They said, nah, we ain't keeping no secrets. We're going to expose this. <laughs> We're done. We're done here. So you better to lose all your resources. You're going to have to figure out how to put two and two together. You're going to have to budget like myself out here with my $4 in my bank account. You know that sucker stay at 4 It don't matter what day of the week it is. It's $4. So you're going to have to figure out what to do, okay? Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's your mama, that's your mammy, your girlfriend, whoever it is. Because I was told in my, that you like to have options. That's what I had heard. Okay. Now, I don't, yeah, I said you like to have options, split my deck, and it's, okay, girl. Do you, honey, we ain't here to judge you, we ain't here to judge you. Anyways, I am going to get out of this energy and go on and live my life. If, if let me just say a correction. If you're coming after me, my ancestors are going to whoop your raggedy behinds before you get to me. Okay? Before you get to me. And before you get to me, before you get to me, keep your distance before you get to me. Because you're about to be bonded, way down, and burdened before you get to me, before you get to me, before you get to me. Hey, hey. Mm, 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 mm. Before you get to me, you're going to be wounded. Before you get to me, you're going to be bonded. Before you get to me, you're going to be hurt. You're going to be hurt because it's going to tear your behind up. You see how they're right there? It's a child chill. We got you. So if this is, <laughs> if this got to do with me, I ain't even going to lift a finger. I'm going to just let you all do your thing. How you do that there? Go ahead and do that. How you do that there? Hey, yeah. How you do that there? Because I'm going to be still successful. How you do that there? Hey. 
How you do that there? Hey, no matter how many times I gotta start over, baby. How you do that there? Hey, how much conflict you cause in my life, baby? How you do that there? Hey, look, it's still abundant again, baby girl. How you do that there? Hey, look at that, it's still abundant again, baby girl. How you do that? Listen, it's being balanced out. How you do that there? <coughs> how you do that there? More conflict? How you do that there? Hey. <laughs> More conflict. <laughs> Balance. Balance. Because you don't know eh, what we be knowing. How you do that there? How you do that there? Celebrations. How you do like that? Eh, skill. Elevation. Eh, eh, keep collaborating. Eh, eh, let me quit fooling around. Anyways, folks, thank you for watching the Ascended Divination Princess channel. I will see you in my next read. Stay blessed. Goodbye for now.